For monitoring, EventBridge integrates with Amazon CloudWatch. It automatically sends a number of different metrics every minute. These include measurements like the number of events that have been matched by a rule to the number of times a target is invoked by a rule. Here I have a rule that matches every AWS event in my account and routes to CloudWatch logs as a target. When I click metrics for the rule, this opens a CloudWatch page with the invocations and triggered rules metrics available. I click these two and change the, st the statistic to sample count, then set a period of one minute. These are the basic metrics for EventBridge rules, and you can use these to find out if your rules are operating as you expect. There are also other metrics that can be useful. Visit s12d.com forward slash events 10 to see the documentation page. If you're using DLQs on an event bus, any events sent to the queue are reported in dead letter invocations. For failed invocations, these are targets that have failed permanently. You can set an alarm on this metric if it ever goes over zero so you can take further action. Another important metric to watch is throttle draws, which should be monitored as well since anything over zero here indicates that there's a problem. For auditing EventBridge usage, you can use AWS CloudTrail. This can log a wide variety of service activity and make it possible to identify the entity that took action or made changes. To do this, create a new trail in CloudWatch specifically for EventBridge, and the events will be logged into the S3 bucket that you choose. For more information about which actions can be monitored, see s12d.com forward slash events 11. For a list of the resources shown in this video and more information about events, visit s12d.com forward slash about events.